84-87-90 Poland advanced to the semi-finals of the competition. For the first part of this press conference, we've been joined by Luka Doncic and head coach Aleksandr Sekulic of Slovenia. Luka, can you share your thoughts on the game, please? Yeah, uh, first of all, congrats to Poland. Uh, they played an amazing game from the first minute to the end. Uh, I mean, it's a big achievement for them. Uh, just and for us, you know, we didn't uh, went to the game like we wanted. Uh, the energy wasn't there. But then we come back, uh, but Poland still uh, was still fighting. So, uh, congrats to Poland. Thank you, Coach. Could we also have an opening statement from you? Yeah, first of all, big congrats to the Poland team. <clears throat> they, they played a hell of a game, in, especially in the first half. Uh, they came out and um, fighting, scoring, the, the shooting, just amazing. I think they, they, they make nine threes in the in first half and only four in the second half. So they made a big lead. Um, with the with their specialists at the second quarter, we had a bad offense, and from bad offense, we went to bad defense, and it was going it was going bad direction. But big credit also for, for our guys. They fought the second half. They, they, the third quarter was just amazing. We just put everything we had on the court. They just fought all the way back. They grinded it back, and uh, we just came back to lead. I think we, we were up also in the third, fourth quarter, but uh, <laughs> made some crucial mistakes, and they made some big shots, uh, and they deserved a win. So they really, especially, we lost the game in the first half. That's the, that's the bottom line. Thank you. Let's now open the floor to the questions from the media. We'll first take the questions in English, then a couple of questions in Slovenian if we have time. Are there any questions in English? We'll start here. Thanks for Luca. This is Emma Rackenball in Europe. Just to your right. Um, Luca, uh, obviously a lot of players at the higher level like yourself this tournament have been critical of the officiating at this. Do you feel there may be an issue with attracting players of your standards to come back if there isn't something done about the level of officiating in the games? Well, I don't know. Uh, I will always represent my country. Uh, so when I can, uh, if I'm healthy, I will always play for Slovenia. Thank you. Any questions in English about the game? Here. Johannes Bipov, basketnews.com. Luca, we saw you holding your back, limping a bit. Uh, physically, were you 100 or a bit less? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably not 100%. Uh, uh, I received an injection in third quarter. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot this Euro basket. Uh, but that's not the reason, you know. Today I played terrible. Uh, I let my team, team down. I let the whole country was supporting us down, and that's on me. And I gotta look back at this game and be better. Thank you. Any more questions? No, that's all. news that come. Luca, you mentioned that uh, the energy wasn't here and wasn't there. And when you guys saw Serbia, Greece being eliminated from the tournament, maybe it impacted the general, you know, approach of some players regarding this game and regarding the opponent you had. No, I think I would give credit to Poland. Uh, I know everybody had us, not everybody, but most had us as favorite. Uh, but Poland has a great team. Like I, I talked about Belgium, they had a great team, and Poland too. You know, this year basket was amazing to see. Uh, the game was, was unbelievable. Uh, I'm sad that we couldn't get through. Uh, but I think this year basket was something else. You know, it was a lot of amazing and great teams. Thank you. Any more uh, questions? Jak Wojciński przegląd sportowy Poland. Question to Luka about uh, Mateusz Ponitka, uh, Poland Polish team leader performance. How impressed are you and how surprised were you about his performance and do you think he's an NBA caliber player? Yeah, amazing game. Uh, I'm not surprised. 
I play a couple times against him. He's a great player, great leader. Uh, yeah, probably he is an NBA type of player. Uh, I don't know. That's I'm why I'm not the GM. You know, I'm the player, but he probably is. Yeah. Is there any more <coughs> questions in English? Hi, Vitus Vishnauskas, basketnews.com. I have a question for the coach. Um, you obviously had to play without Zoran and adjust your lineups a little bit, and also you decided without Giga Dimas, you need Muric as, as in that smaller lineup, and Toby was attacked a lot. Um, how would you comment on this? Is, was Mike Toby kind of struggling because of his previous ankle injury, or, or were these just decisions you made during the game? Look, yeah, for sure, Mike is not 100%. He, he had bad injury, unfortunately, uh, uh, at the start of the game uh, against uh, Germany. Before the start, he just tripped on the referee's leg. Uh, he wasn't for sure 100%, even though, even though uh, he went on the court, put his card out. And we cannot blame him for anything. He just, I think he played 100%. But uh, for sure, it impacted for sure his game a little bit. Uh, so we had to a little bit adjust to this, and also the Polish team played a great game, and we had to react to what they were doing. We tried to change the rhythm, to, to, to change the, the the rhythm of the game, tempo of the game, try to be more aggressive, um, and I think we succeeded in some part, but it wasn't enough at the end. Thank you. Let's take a final question in English. Good night. Question for both. Uh, what? What about your future? Your future then uh, looking onto the World Cup, you will remain with the national team. It's your goal to to stay with national team. Happens what happens. Thanks. Of course, if we qualify, yes. <laughs> And if I'm not injured. Yeah. Thank you. It was a question for both. Was it? It was a question for me also? Yeah. <coughs> who, who was this? And you, which media? Okay. Uh, look, uh, we need to analyze this year basket and then we'll make decisions. <coughs> Thank you. We can now take a couple of questions in Slovenian and Slovenian.